The Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts is offering a new training program to help more people in Boston get jobs in information technology. To tell us about the Masimba Coding Academy are two guests from the league, the program director for workforce development, William Watkins, and the coordinator for the academy, Franklin Anuoha. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. I want to start with Franklin. You say coding, people say, oh, you have to be a nerd, but what's this going to be like? Uh, it's, it's definitely a completely uh, different approach. It's, uh, you can come in and learn um, how to code. It's, it's a way of thinking um, more so. You're learning a, a different way of uh, shifting your mind and uh, that's really based and focused in um, computational thinking, but in all of that, uh, really just learning ways to like really solve problems. William, talk about the people um, this was designed for, because we're talking about different age groups here too, aren't we? Yes, we, we are talking about uh, adults uh, from 18 on up. And uh, we're focused on those individuals who have been unemployed, underemployed, um, who have been locked out of certain systems or industries. Um, we found that uh, we have a, a quite a few young people being told, hey, learn coding, uh, go into STEM. But there are jobs currently right now, over 50 plus thousand jobs in coding, and their mothers and fathers have not uh, entered back into the workforce. So we decided that we would have a, a program to introduce them to STEM, also to introduce them to a new industry, the IT industry. Franklin, how, how do you uh, introduce someone? Because if they're starting from square one and, and you also want to hold their attention, how do you, how do, you do that? Uh, it's, a, it's a mixture. Uh, definitely uh, the approach of uh, getting to understand um, them and also their, their learning style. And another thing is then uh, using the, the material not as it's just rote mem mem memorization or uh, just learning the syntax more so. How do we go about solving this problem? How do, how do we engage you as an individual in uh, really becoming captivated by what you're learning at hand and then uh, going to then have that autonomy just to even solve that small problem that may be presented to you while one is in class? Well, well you're the teacher now, but, but looking back, what got you captivated? Um, well, I've always been uh, interested in, tech, in technology. Uh, growing up as a ch child, uh, my moniker was MacGyver. <laughs> and uh, so and then one day I decided this is something I wanted to learn. And uh, from there, it opened up a whole new world. It was like a whole new matrix. Okay. Well, what about some of the, you mentioned that there are all these jobs out there. What, what kind of companies are, are offering these jobs and trying to fill them? Well, of course, you have a lot of small startup uh, tech companies um, that are looking for employers, I mean, employees. Um, you have Amazon. Um, you, you name any company that has a website um, needs some sort of a tech uh, person to not only manage it, and, but sometimes adding to uh, the website. You even have cell phone companies who are creating all these wonderful apps for the smartphones. So there are a plethora of jobs, be it in the public arena and in the private industry. Frankly, it sounds like you know all these startups too. Is that you know even if they're not strictly speaking IT companies, they need to use IT to, to make money, right? Yes, I would agree. And so I guess that leads to more demand for, for, for the kind of people that you're teaching. Absolutely, uh, leads to more demand, but also uh, knowing that just when one learns different several languages still there's also going to be a learning process even within that industry as to how they go about uh, their technology and how do they go about solving their technology problems so it's a uh, it's really a uh, precursor into uh, just that way of thinking um, this has been a news and we're talking with William Watkins and Franklin Anuoha from the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. Uh, William, talk about laying the groundwork for this program because the, the Urban League has been doing job training for decades, but, but this is a sort of a, a sort of a quantum leap. So how, how did you bring this off? Well, you know, um, I happened to be at a um, workforce development conference out in Devons, uh, Massachusetts, and uh, Dr. Venter from Google was speaking about um, young people transitioning from high school into the IT industry, knowing that all of our young people won't move on to a college or university, 
but to provide them with skills that would allow them to make a decent living. Well, the light bulb went on for me because there are plenty of people within Dorchester, Roxbury and Mattapan who have not seen um, anything come out of the, the new uh, economy or the uh, uh, coming out of the recession. Um, there was nothing new for them. So uh, given the fact that the, the parents were still unemployed um, in the industry that we currently have is not allowing them to get in. Um, but we knew that the IT industry was definitely an area where we could um, tackle this issue. And, and in doing that, we said, well, let's train uh, adults how to code. The uh, you know, industry are training young people how to code, but we understand that they won't be in the market for another two, three decades. So if, we, if there's 50 plus thousand jobs available right now, we have people that are willing and able right now to learn uh, to code and get into the workforce. Franklin, uh, talk about the time commitment uh, in here, because I, I imagine this is going to be a free course for people if they meet at least certain requirements. Yes. So uh, as for time, uh, we start at uh, 9, it goes from 9 a.m. till 4. Um, and then this is over a five-month period. So approximately over about 120 hours, which is uh, put in. Well, you, I, I know you're, you're, you're booked for the current class, but if people want to check this out, learn some more about it, get a sense of what it's like, uh, any advice for how they can do that? Um, two ways. One, they can call the Urban League at 617-442-4519 or visit our website, uh, www.ulem.org, and they can check out our website, call us up. We have informational sessions every Tuesday and Wednesday at 1 o'clock, and they, they feel free to um, just walk into the office. Thank you both very much, William Watkins and Appreciate. Franklin Unwoha from the Urban League of Eastern Massachusetts. Thank you. Up ahead, transforming Boston's urban space through light, color, and music. But first, this message.